I've never really felt like, you know, I fit nicely in any genre. I'm always envious of those people that it's like, I do X and that's what I do. And I'm like, well, that's amazing, you know, because I want to do all the alphabet. I'm just captivated with music as a whole, so I don't want to limit myself to one specific avenue. So I'm Anderson East, and we are here with Up Rocks and Straight Talk, and I'm going to show you how to build some raised garden beds. We got a little over 45 acres out here, and uh, we just need a little place to be free and get wild. Yeah, so we've been here for about uh, two years now. So there pretty much is just kind of nature. So we're doing raised beds so we don't have to till anything. So first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out our sides and then we're gonna attach uh, two by four supports on each side of those. Our whole goal mainly is to, to be out here in a self-sustaining kind of manner. Everything's off grid. Everything's powered by the uh, wonderful burning ball in the sky. Coming up and I just wanted to try anything I could and where we wound up was, you know, just what felt natural. I'm not into the hype just because something's trendy. Doesn't mean it's worth the cost. Straight Talk gets that too. They cut through the hype with great prices and nationwide 5G with no contracts and no compromise. So yeah, we built a box. So the next thing we're gonna do, get our landscape fabric and line all this so we don't get any weeds growing up. Yeah, keeping everything fresh. So this is eight foot long, so we're gonna use about 12 feet. Growing up, all you could do was do it yourself. You know, that was right on the cusp of the internet, you know, and where we, were, we grew up, you know, there was no uh, real outlet to, to figure anything out. So you would, you know, go to a store and maybe find a mix magazine. And, and then the rest was just kind of like plugging in cables and frying all kinds of, you know, gear that, you know, the, the electricity doesn't match and, and just figuring out how to make things sound, you know, interesting and, you know, or at least good. Feel good. I'm sure if I was in charge, this wouldn't be as pretty. All I've ever stapled is concert posters and telephone poles. I think the, the older I get, you have to know what battles you have to pick. It's hard to be the race car driver and the pit crew all at the same time. You know, as much as the engineering and, and kind of, uh, you know, that aspect really fascinates me. If you're the one that's in charge of, you know, being behind the microphone, like that's your job. That's probably the, the hardest thing that, I've, that I still struggle with today. Yeah, you could definitely do this by yourself, but it's just, it's nice to have friendship. <laughs> So this is just uh, topsoil or garden soil. And then we're also using some compost and manure. All right, so we have lettuce, various different types of peppers, few types of tomatoes. And then I believe back here, we're gonna do kind of our running vines, squash, cucumber, zucchini. When the majority of your life is, is constantly surrounded by noise and, and, and just loudness, you know, to have this place of, you know, just quiet and solace has been very well needed. All right, so that's one bed down. I'm trying to make sure they're straight so they'll grow happy. You know, I just love projects. I love making things with my hands, uh, you know, making things work and, and figuring out how to do it, especially, you know, not having a background in, in any of it. You know, things that you might not be getting fully fulfilled with by you know, just sitting behind a computer all day when so much of your life is wait to make a record, wait to put it out, wait to go on tour. It's just constant waiting. And, you know, with this, you can just look back and be like, I did that and it's done now. So it's, it's a nice release to have. Well, I'm gonna have to send a photo of this to my sweet mother, show her how it all turned out.